A child is born for us, and a son is given to us. His scepter of power rests upon his shoulders, and his name will be called Messenger of Great Counsel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today's Mass is being offered for Pope Emeritus Benedict the Sixteenth. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I've done, what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, O Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Come, O Lord, to the help of your people, sustained by the intercession of Pope St. Sylvester, so that, running the course of this present life under your guidance, we may happily attain life without end. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, it is the last hour, and just as you heard that the Antichrist was coming, so now many ice Antichrists have appeared. Thus we know this is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not really of our number. If they had been, they would have remained with us. Their desertion shows that none of them was of our number. But you have the anointing that comes from the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. I write to you, not because you do not know the truth, but because you do, and because every lie is alien to the truth. The word of the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice.
Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Heaven to be glad and the earth to be glad. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea, what fills it, resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exalt before the Lord. Heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. And the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted him, he gave power to become the children of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came to be through him. And without him, nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life. And this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own. But his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God to those who believe in his name, who were born, not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This 
was he of whom I said, the one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. From his fullness, we have all received grace in place of grace because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only begotten Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember Pope Benedict XVI emphasized the meaning of holiness, saying, holiness doesn't mean that we would never sin. Holiness means that we start again, depending on forgiveness and our Reconciliation with God is continuous. That's what holiness is. In the Gospel of John, we hear that there are people who believe that Jesus is the light and he gives them power to become God's children. It's true. All of us are his children. Even though at times... We run from God's will and resist God and break our relationship with God. His grace remains nonetheless so that our hearts and minds can convert, can change, can ever change back to him. That is, back to the light, a light which beats the darkness. God made us and he made us for love. Love is a self a beautiful thing. And Pope Benedict the Sixteenth said that Mary is the woman of love, that Mary is the woman of hope. It's a beautiful quote. Mary shows us what it means to love, and Mary is the light as well becoming the mother of Jesus and Joseph too. Remember the story. Joseph was disappointed that his wife had become pregnant out of wedlock. But the angel showed up to, Mary, to Joseph in a dream and told him that the Holy Spirit had come down upon Mary. And so he was enlightened and knew God's plan. So we can also say of Joseph, he's the man of love, the man of hope. The Holy Family shows us. All of us can have hope and can love and so can become holy. The light. Merry Christmas. Let us pray.
or the Pope's monthly intention, we pray that volunteer nonprofit organizations committed to human development find people dedicated to the common good and ceaselessly seek out new paths to international cooperation. We pray to the Lord. For Bishop Sean, that he will rejoice at the rite of acceptance with all those who are preparing for full communion this year, especially Charles and Jerry. We pray to the Lord. For young people who feel overwhelmed and lost, that they will return and or come to the church. We pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially Pope Emeritus Benedict the Sixteenth. We pray to the Lord. According to your will, in Jesus' name, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, give us the gift of true prayer and of peace. Graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God 
For in the mystery of the word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the vaunt of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body of and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. God sent his only begotten son into the world so that we might have life through him.
Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever-deepened trust for the things eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you all for joining us for the celebration of the octave of Christmas. It was nice to pray together. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass has ended. Thanks be to God.